Talkers. Good morning. T-G-I-F. Guess what time it is. Hey, Sharon, what's the tea? Let's find out what the tea is for you fuckers today. Tap that screen. Tap it. Baron team, what's the tea? What's the tea for my collective today on this fine, stormy-ass Friday? Secret lovers. Yeah. Uh-huh. A private relationship is on the horizon. Anger management. Addictions, roller coaster, toxic connection, broken mirrors. Make it rain. Okay, manifesting money. And I already, already know in the T. Okay. So whoever you are in this collective, you already know all this. So it's just kind of like, you're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel very strongly that somebody is in a world of chaos right now. They're in the middle of a situation that's toxic. Toxic connection. It's a roller coaster ride. Dealing with addictions, possibly. But it's surrounded around some sort of unexpected money. something to do with money that's unexpected. And they're angry about it. Hmm. And they got some anger problems, like to the point that they need to talk about it. They need to get it off their chest. <laughs> they want to get back on equal ground. They want to be like peas and carrots again. They want to fit in each other's lives. They want to be able, be able to be intertwined. <clears throat> again, you already know this. You already know this. Okay. I'm, I'm sensing a celebration of this money. Something, something to do with this money that was, I feel was unexpected, could be an inheritance, could be a legal situation that, you know, was ruled in your, in your favor, um, could be an entrepreneurial, you know, blow it, blast up, you know, do something entrepreneurial and it goes viral, whatever. <clears throat> Some kind of a financial windfall that was unexpected. But this person wants to talk to you. They want to talk it out. Why they're so angry. But you already know this. Mm -hmm. They are desiring you something awful. They feel like you are a snack. folks. 
Mm-hmm. Look at it. It's like I'm a psychic. <laughs> Anger management, they want to talk it out. And I feel like they're trying to work things out with their family, their kin folks. This person wants to be a partnership again. They're tired of the roller coaster ride. They're tired of having toxic connections. They want you. And I feel like they've been talking to their family about it as well. And talking to their family about toxic connections and addictions. It's Addictions. Bottoms up, alcohol. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like, <clears throat> again, there's some unexpected money, financial windfall, some sort, that's being celebrated. And it's surrounding a toxic connection. But this person wants to break free from this toxic connection. They want to be like, peas and carrots with you again. They want to talk to you about how angry they are. <clears throat> they want your respect. And they know they have to earn your respect back. They feel like they've lost your respect. And they want it back. They've been, this has been heavy, heavy, heavy on this person's mind. And this, pe this person feels like a dumbass. A dumbass for what they've been going through. And they're angry at themselves for allowing themselves to be drawn by money. It's like, I feel like this person was being pulled in the wrong direction and is starting to get it, okay? So, two plus two equals four. Oh, kind of like that, you know? <laughs> and whoever this is, is kind of like been sitting here like this, like just really thinking, meditating, you know, just thinking about everything, and now they're very sorry. And they want to make amends. Luck's on your side. This person done got rich. <laughs> okay. This person, whoever this is, has, got, has had a financial windfall. Unexpected. I don't know if they won the lottery or something took off, business, whatever. But they done got rich and luck's on their side. And whoever this is, is coming to get you. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers want you. They want to say they're sorry to you. They want to snack on you. <laughs> they want to snack on your french fries. <laughs> Um, they want to make some sort of a vow to you. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, get married, but they want to make some sort of a com commitment that's a true, true, pure commitment to you. Pure intentions. Get it? And this is all a matter of divine timing. So trust the process, bitch. Trust the process because this motherfucker, this hot ass, sexy motherfucker is coming in. You better repair yourself. You better shave above the knee, bitch. <laughs> uh huh. This person's got this very close ties with their family, so. I feel like this person's breaking free from this situation. Love you. I hope this helps. Have a great fucking Friday.